So Sunday night, haven't got a lot done this weekend. Did some cleanup around the yard. Still got lots more to do. Um, really nothing's happened on here. I'm gonna do some work on the trunk latch maybe. I think for now I'm actually just gonna paint these bars. Just do a little bit of something, get something done tonight. Uh, that way I can finish wiring up my lights and get those all done. So, just gonna get started on that. I feel this is going to take a while. <laughs> yes, hence the uh, time lapse now. You can see this is black. Me, it'll look better in the light. But uh, yeah, got that done. Got to do this side now. Um, that looked like it was going really fast, but I think that took like 20 minutes or something to do. Um, I started with a brush. I finished with a brush just around the edges and stuff. Um, I remembered I had this. This is like, I don't know, some of you old timers might have used these for doing pinstriping. You kind of fill the cylinder with paint and then uh, you just proceed to, it just kind of feeds paint though. So it's kind of for doing body striping, I guess. Like if you're doing body line, um, is that right way to say it? A pinstripe on the side of a car. I think this is how they used to paint them on. You just fill the cylinder up. It's kind of like a squeegee, but it works like junk if you squeeze it. I just find if I kill here, I just get the right amount of paint and it kind of goes. So it's easier for me. I have an infinite amount of paint in it. So when I'm, uh, I'm going along these teeth, I don't have to worry about refilling my brush all the time. So this seems to be the win for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to this side and do some more of this. So what I find I'm doing is I can rest right on this body line of the hood here. No, not so much here, I don't have the chrome, but it gives me a nice straight line to start with. Until I do that. Like I say, the chrome's missing up here. The second line's so much easier to do. This one you'll see it'll go so much easier. See? Much better. So then pretty much from this point on, it's kind of like a coloring book. Kind of just Keep feeding paint out. As you roll, paint comes out. This is probably what I'll use to do my tan on the pinstripe up here. I'll try. There's a good chance I might screw it up.
Okay, that took way too long. I bet you I got like an hour and a bit into this thing. Actually, almost two hours. Feels like anyways, maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's got some black in it. It doesn't pop very much, but I'm pretty happy with what it is. You still see the brown inside. But, yeah, it's fine. It'll do. It'll break it up. I needed something on there. Now I can at least put my lights on. Needed that done so I can do that, get my lights wired and figure out what I'm doing for my bulbs and all that jazz. So, one step closer. But uh, I think I'm calling that a night. Okay, another day. So, going to... I have to fix this thing. This thing broke when I was trying to put it on. So, I've marked it. I gotta drill it. The mark right there, I gotta drill so I can screw this on. Uh, not, not what I want to do, but whatever. It's what I gotta do. So, I'll clean this off so I get that on. I don't know if you can see. There's my black. Somebody did comment, made a good point. Maybe if I put some of that cream on there, that'll look pretty good, I think. But for now, it throws a little bit of difference on. That took way too long to do last night. But, keep trooping on here. So I got the buckets in. Wires are out. Got my ground in there. I have to just brush on a little bit of paint because I noticed when I sprayed them, I didn't, uh, I kind of screwed up. So I brush a little bit of paint on this edge just because you'll probably see a little bit of that. And then uh, I'll start working on the reflectors. Mm. By the way, yesterday, this is what I was using. So it comes as a kit like this. You can see you got different wheels, like they're different uh, thicknesses. I was using the biggest one when I was doing it, so that'd be some pretty fine stuff right there. So, what I'm going to do, see I have these reflectors. I'm going to pull, see if I can polish these up a bit. I'm going to pull the bulbs out, and I'm going to put a regular halogen bulb in there. And then this one I'm taking out. I'm going to take this little bulb out and put in an LED for a signal. Uh, I picked up some hardware, some stainless for the bumper. So I'm going to get those bolts in as well. Just some paint from my... I have left over. So... Just gonna douse some on there. <clears throat> so, this is my first reflector. This is the one I've polished it up. Uh, I've also popped this hole out. I'm gonna put my grommet in there. And then my signal light can go into that. So that's going to go like that. And then I'm going to retrofit a halogen bulb into here. <clears throat> and then I can put that together. Yeah, I'd say that polished up pretty good compared to that. All I did was I just hit it with some others. And a buffing pad on here and then a little bit of elbow grease. I sanded a bit of the, anything that was super cruddy, I did sand it off, but it seemed to polish out okay. So, I'm just going to do this one, then get them on the car. So I got the one light in, that one's burnt out, or the high beam, or the low beam's burnt out. So, I got to get another bulb. 
before I put that together. But I've been messing around here for what feels like an hour trying to get this thing all together. So just frustrated with that. Thinking to do something else. But that one's in, that's the light. I think it looks pretty cool. You can see the black, maybe in the light, sunlight it'll be good, but maybe it just needs a little tan, just a little stripe on top. We'll see how it goes. I still gotta find some tan paint, but. Okay, I started working on the other tail light. So essentially, this is the one I have not modified yet. But you can see how the inside guts were. So, what I did was I unscrewed that little dongle and uh, I cut part of it off. So, when this is said and done, it's just going to screw in to the original spot, then I'll get a dual filament bulb. I could run the dual bulbs like here, but the wiring's just bunk. And uh, I never have good luck with the, the dual bulbs like that. They're just a single filament. So I'm gonna put a dual in there. So I'll put this together and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So there's the finished result. So now I just gotta clean this up. Glue my lens into there. Might try to find some different ones. I'll see ya. Still gotta clean this up do that. Ever have one of those nights where almost nothing seems to be working right? Well for the most part it's been good but this light's totally sucked. These screws were broken. The screw broke off that holds the face on. Uh, so, anyways, I decided that I'm just going to JB weld the top for now. And I'll sand that up tomorrow. I'll uh, let that dry. So that's just getting rid of the, the license plate light. And then that was the bolts for the holder. And being that this is pot metal, I can't weld it or do anything, so... That's as good as it gets, and then I'll do a little bit of filler on it after. And then I'm gonna drill out this, and this, and this. Um, I'll probably just make this tail light holding holder yet for the, the bulb like that. So all I do is I just cut this thing off here, pull this out, and then I weld on just a universal, a universal socket. I have a bunch of them whenever I'm ordering from Rock Auto I order stuff like that so it's just one of these that's what I throw on there so I've sanded my JB weld I'm gonna put some Bondo on there yet to finish this thing up get it all cleaned I've got my other light changed and the bucket on now so I've got two sets of headlights on there that is good to go so I'm going to go fill this and sand it down and get some primer on it. So I'm mudding this up, just waiting for this to dry so I can sand it and then I can get some primer on it. It's getting close. Okay, first coat of primer. I'm just hitting it with some rattle can stuff. Do one more coat, let that sit. Okie dokie. So, got some paint on these things. So I'll let that dry tonight. And I will throw them on the car tomorrow. And we'll see how she looks. Okay, so. What I've actually found is these marker lights from a trailer are like perfect for this so I'm actually going to go that route. I'm just going to glue these in now and then I can throw them on the car. So I got these. I'm just going to shave them down because they're a little, little thick. Now they're much, much thinner. 
and they'll fit in these pots a lot better. So, looks like I gotta still do a little trim around the lights there where the screw goes through. So I got these shaped up. What I'm going to do is just put some urethane to hold the glass in. Try not to touch everything so that I'm painted with this stuff. Those of you that have used urethane will know why I'm doing this. Eh, not bad. Uh, there you go. So, let that set. And then, uh, stick them on the car. How mint is that? Some pretty custom taillights there. Still gotta get, or make a, a lens for this side yet, but might just block them off. I don't know if I need these. These side ones. Once I got them out here, I dig it. <clears throat> closer, closer. Got my headlights in too. Other one's done. Look at that. Shiny, fancy. So, yeah, I think that'll do her for this video. <clears throat> It's the wife's truck. Hope you folks have seen this maybe, maybe not. I think it's like a 46 or 47 Fargo. Actually, sorry, a Dodge. It's not the Fargo. It's got a, we just finished it up last year. <clears throat> yeah, I know, no less, typical. It's got a 5.3. 60 e. Not a lot of bells and whistles in this other than power steering, power brakes. That's all she cares about. So, it's kind of in. She wants to doll up the interior soon. So, I'm going to make some door panels and upholster some stuff when she figures out what colors she's going. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little driver. It's pretty solid. Was well, a pretty solid truck. I shouldn't say was, it is. So anyways, till next time, we'll catch you guys later.